Welcome to this video. Today, we're going to talk about the difference between sometime as one word, sometime as two words, and sometimes one word with an S on the end. This is a question that a student had asked and it's a great question because all three of these are used in very different ways and they're all very common as well. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between sometime, some time, and sometimes. Sometime as one word is an adverb. And we use this to talk about an unspecified point in time. Now, when I say point in time, that's important because we're not talking about a span of time, a time that has a duration. We're talking about an unspecified point in time. So I could say, you should visit me sometime. You should visit me sometime. Now, when I say sometime, it's not specified. It could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be next year, it could be next month, any time. Now, I could also say, I'll clean the garage sometime soon. So notice I added soon onto it because I just said it could be tomorrow or it could be next year. So if you want to make the time a little more specified, but still unspecified, you could add soon, sometime soon. I'll clean the garage sometime soon. Now let's talk about some time, two words. So this is an expression. An expression is simply when two or more words are combined to have one meaning. Now the meaning for this expression, some time, is a period of time. So that's why it was important to specify in our last example that it was an unspecified point in time because as two words, some time is a span of time and it's generally a longer span of time. So you can think of it as a while. So I could say it will be some time, two words, until restaurants reopen. So when I say some time, we don't know how long, but I know it's a longer span of time. I could also say it took me some time to clean the garage. So again, it's not specified. I don't know exactly, was it an hour, two hours, three hours? I don't know, but it wasn't five minutes because I said some time, which is a longer period of time, a while. Now, sometimes as one word with an S, this is an adverb and perhaps it's the one that you're most familiar with because this is an adverb of frequency used with the present simple verb tense. Sometimes means occasionally, but not often. So when you think about our adverbs of frequency, you can see that sometimes it's not as often as usually, but it's more often than rarely. So you can think about it as about three times a week. So I could say, she sometimes orders takeout for lunch. I know this is not something she does every day, but it's something she does occasionally, maybe about three times a week. And remember, it's an adverb of frequency used with the present simple. So my verb is in the present simple. Now, just to use our garage example, so you can see all three of them and compare them side by side, I could say, he sometimes cleans the garage. So he does it occasionally, but not often. So maybe three or four times a year, but other things he does every single week, like clean his kitchen, but he sometimes cleans his garage. So now you know how to use 
sometime, one word, sometime as two word, and sometimes one word with that S on the end. So now, of course, it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave three examples, one with each, in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, you might want to review this video again, write down those three rules so you don't confuse them. And sometimes the adverb of frequency, that's probably the most common. So make sure you practice that one the most. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.